In this video, I'm gonna take a look at eight well-paying jobs that you can get without a four-year college degree. Having a college degree is no guarantee of a high paying job and now more than ever, I feel like you can have a great career without having a four year degree. I myself don't have a bachelor's degree, so throughout the years I've read a lot of articles and topics like this, seeing if any particular career path sounded interesting to me without requiring me to go back to school for four more years. And of course, salary is just one component of a job. If you don't like the industry or the people or the work itself, you may find you're far happier working a lower paying job doing something you love, and that's great too. I met a guy who quit a high paying job as an engineer to become a helicopter pilot and he said he'd never been happier. So money doesn't have to be the main goal if you don't want it to be. Now with just about any job with a degree or without, you usually have to put in some years grinding it out to get to that next level of compensation that you're really after. So some of these options may start at a lower salary but allow you to advance with experience. Let's take a look. Back in 2009, I had a friend tell me I should look into this career path since they hire people without a four-year degree and they can make pretty good money doing it. And I think we're all familiar with locomotive engineers. Ready? Yeah. They operate trains, hauling passengers or freight. Get your mouth with me. Since trains are running 24 seven, you may work nights, weekends, and holidays, but the pay can be pretty good, averaging at $70,000 per year. But according to job sites ZipRecruiter and Glassdoor, salaries can break into the six digits between 120 and 130,000. To become a locomotive engineer, you generally need a lot of on-the-job training. You may be able to start at an entry-level position with a railroad company as a switch or brake operator and work your way up. From there, you'll likely need a certificate you can obtain after taking a course like the six week conductor training course. Then you get a federal license, which is required for all railroad engineers. So if that sounds interesting to you, it may be worth looking into. If you're interested in real estate, consider working in lending services. Helping families or businesses obtain mortgages for properties can be a well-compensated career path without needing a four-year degree. ZipRecruiter shows an average salary of $125,000, but the pay range varies greatly as a lot of your compensation is derived from commissions. You'll probably start out much lower, likely making around $36,000, but with plenty of opportunities to earn more as you progress. Here's an example of a mortgage banker training program. They'll have you contact leads that you can then transfer to a licensed broker. So it seems like call center work, but from there the company may sponsor you to complete the online course and exams to receive your mortgage origination officer license which is required to move to the next level so if you're good with people and paperwork then this might be right up your alley there are a lot of jobs and trades like heating and cooling that can have higher than average compensation in this job you'll be installing maintaining and repairing climate control systems You'll probably work overtime during peak heating and cooling seasons, and it may take its toll physically on you, but the salary can range from the mid 30s to $90,000. Here's a job listing with the salary range going up to $110,000 with five years experience. If you wanna be an HVAC technician, your employer will likely wanna see that you received a certificate from an HVAC trade school. This can take six to 12 months and costs in the range of $1,200 to $15,000. But if you like working with your hands, diagnosing and fixing mechanical issues, you may enjoy this line of work. Video editors are more in demand than ever now that many companies are seeing the benefit in creating video content for the internet. It also seems like everyone thinks they know how to edit video, but as someone who has worked for years as a video editor and was recently hiring a video editor, finding candidates who were actually great at video editing was more challenging than I thought. It's unlikely you'll break into the six-figure salary in this line of work. The average salary here in LA is $65,000. I started my career off with zero work experience at $20 per hour, but worked my way up from there and learned a lot on the job. If you like working on a computer and have a flair for creativity, then this may be a great job for you. Whether you wanna work on Hollywood productions or remotely for YouTubers or in-house for a company, there are a ton of job openings out there and this line of work can also allow you to explore other types of digital media as well. I transitioned from doing straight video work to working only as a motion graphics artist by learning just on the job and in my free time because I really enjoyed it. If you like aviation and are mechanically inclined, consider becoming an aircraft mechanic. The FAA regulates this job and they require you to have 1900 hours of hands-on and classroom training to then take the airframe and power plant license tests. So generally you'll spend about two years in school focusing on this career path. It's challenging and rewarding and while you won't get rich doing this job, you can make a nice living. The average starting salary is $40,000, but once you're established, you can make between 75 and $100,000 per year. 
it is a high pressure job with no room for error because people's lives rely on you doing your job correctly. So if you can handle the pressure and enjoy working with your hands and your brain, this may be a good fit for you. As a journeyman lineman, you are involved with the construction and maintenance of overhead and underground power lines. You'll work in all weather conditions and hopefully you're not afraid of heights. It is ranked as one of the 10 most dangerous jobs in the US, but they can make at least $80,000 per year on into six figures. In order to get the training, you can usually find an apprenticeship program where you will earn while you learn to pay for your tuition costs. Here in California, there's a three and a half year apprenticeship program with at least 7,000 total hours of required on the job training. Since you're building power lines and they are built on site, there's a fair amount of travel involved. And if you're okay with heights and electricity, well, this job sounds like it'd be perfect for you. Do you like real estate? Do you like people? Do you like sales? Well, have I got the job for you. Becoming a real estate agent is essentially deciding to start your own business. You'll need hustle, you'll need marketing, you'll need a network of people. And if you can excel in all these facets, you can have a terrific career as a real estate agent. Generally, commission on a home sale is about 6%. The average home price in the US as of May 2021 was $287,000, which would make the commission equal $17,220. But the agent that sells the home is generally gonna give 50% of the commission to the buyer's agent, earning $8,610 on that sale. The average real estate agent makes about $43,000 per year, but there are a lot of part-time agents and a lot of bad agents. So if you work in an expensive market or you can dominate an affordable market, there is an opportunity to make a good living. According to the job site Indeed, the average real estate agent in LA earned $106,000. To become an agent, every state has their own licensing requirements. Aren't they something? One for each of the 50 states. But generally, you'll take classes either online or in person, and then once complete, you take the state exam. Then once you have your license, you can find a broker to hang your license with. So this could be Keller Williams, Century 21, Compass, etc. From there, it's typically on you to then hustle for clients to either get listings, represent buyers, or both. This is something I've considered doing before. I even completed the classes in Illinois, but it's worth noting that agents are in no short supply. In January, there were more agents than homes for sale. So there is no guarantee of success, but if you really want it, I believe it can be an attainable career that pays well. You may have heard the poll where more kids wanted to be YouTubers than other popular career paths, and it kind of makes sense. If you look at what many YouTubers' lives appear to be, sure, it can seem pretty appealing. Well, as someone who has been a YouTuber for over four years, I can say for certain that you obviously don't need a four-year degree and you can make a nice living doing it. It's an incredibly saturated platform with hundreds of hours of video being uploaded every single minute. There's definitely no guarantee of success no matter how good you are. You can make videos every week for years and never see any revenue whatsoever. To maximize your chances of success, I think it's best to pick a niche that you are passionate about and then find a unique approach that will differentiate yourselves from the other channels and then focus on creating engaging videos that provide value, whether information or entertainment to your target audience. Running a YouTube channel isn't really that different from running other types of online businesses. You wear a lot of different hats, producer, writer, videographer, presenter, editor, bookkeeper, etc. And like many other online businesses, there isn't necessarily a cap on what you can earn, but it is important to diversify your revenue streams since you are relying on one single platform to publish your videos and then show them to your audience. It always feels like at any moment, something could change and your career could just evaporate. Depending on your niche, your audience size, and your business acumen, you could make well over $100,000 per year once you've established your channel. From working on a computer to working with your hands or people, those are eight jobs where you can earn an above average salary without your standard bachelor's degree. If you know of any jobs you'd add to the list, let me know in the comments below. If you would, hit the thumbs up button on this video. That'll really help get it out to more people. And then consider subscribing if you haven't already. That's all for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.